When you think about thyroid problems in young people, I guess most people would be aware that people can have an underactive thyroid gland, where the thyroid gland stops working in the normal way. People may be aware that the thyroid gland can work overtime, can become overactive. But there are um, some people who get much rarer thyroid problems, and one of the obvious ones to think about is, um, is so-called thyroid cancer, which is very rare, as I say, in young people, but, is, uh, but should be uh, mentioned because there is a steady trickle of young people who develop thyroid cancer around the U UK at a relatively young age. And they may present with a, l a lump in the thyroid gland. And what would typically happen is that they will go to the GP who will refer them to hospital. And a lot of young people will then opt to have a, uh, a biopsy, which is typically done under local anaesthetic. If you really objected to it, you could have a general anaesthetic, but it's with a local anaesthetic, it's, uh, many people say it's no more uncomfortable than having a blood sample. And there may be a little bit of pushing and a bit of pressure on your neck, but individuals who develop a lump in the thyroid gland, typically the first course of action when they refer to the doctor would be to think about doing a biopsy. And it may well be that people will do an ultrasound scan as well. So you will want to scan the thyroid to see whether your impression on examination is backed up by the um, thyroid scan. And some people who have this biopsy will, will be told that there are some abnormal cells or there's a possibility that um, there are abnormal cells in the sample. And those individuals will then um, undergo what is typically what they call a hemithyroidectomy um, or a total thyroidectomy, depending upon the particular set of circumstances. And certainly if you had a lump, maybe there was a bit of suspicion about what it was and you had half your thyroid gland taken out surgically, the operation is quite straightforward, in, day, in one day, out the next, then um, if you were then told that the, the lump that was taken out was actually a cancer, then you'd have to have the rest of the thyroid gland taken out as well. But it's a bizarre thing to say perhaps, but you know, because nobody wants to get cancer, but if you're going to get any kind of cancer as a young person, then you could argue that thyroid cancer is, is, a, is, is, is not a bad one to get because we know that long term, with a combination of surgery and sometimes with, uh, or often with, well, sometimes with radioiodine treatment as well, we know that the long-term outlook for individuals is excellent. Having had the thyroid gland take out, taken out, you have to be on thyroid hormone replacement medication in the long term. But we know, um, well, yes, we know that you have to be monitored at hospital, perhaps initially quite frequently, but then relatively infrequently in the long term. But if you look at the survivor rates, the long-term survivor rates, you know, people that get um, thyroid cancer, they're very, very encouraging. So um, I think that for people who get a lump in their neck or are worried about a lump in the neck, we can be extremely upbeat about it because the likelihood of it, of it being, um, of being something that is cancer in the first place is, is well, it's certainly less than, a lot less than 50%. But even if it is a thyroid cancer, we know that in young people, there are very effective treatments for it, treatments that result in long-term cure.